guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video I have a collective thrift haul of my favorite some of my favorite home decor pieces that I have collected over the past few months I would say um, I love thrifting for home decor is one of my favorite things to find because you can honestly find such um, different and unique pieces for your home for a fraction of the cost um, a little background um, into my style. My style is, um, I'm very into, I can't say that I have one specific style, but it's more of a mid-century modern, like boho, eclectic, but kind of neutral tones and natural wood tones and kind of all over the place, but um, in my mind it makes sense. So um, I have a few things to show you that I have found either for my home or to resell because I do resell on the Poshmark app. And if you know, if you shop on Poshmark, you know that they've recently come out with the home um, home uh, market. And I have yet, I have not um, tried it out yet. So I have been collecting a few things for that. But honestly, it's just so hard to part with these things because I thrift things that I actually love so parting with them is really really hard for me especially home decor but um we do live in a very small uh apartment so it can get very cluttered very easily so I am trying to be good um about trying to list things but I have not yet so we'll see how I do but anyways let me show you all the things that I have and like I said before, it's just, this is a collective haul. I did not find all of these things in one trip. It's been it's been a few trips, like a lot of trips. So yeah, let me just get started. So the first thing I have here is this wicker um, bin, like a waste basket, or it, it can even be a it could even be a planter. And it has this really cute knotted detail right there. It is. Um, it did fall up, come apart right here, but it's okay. I actually use this as a trash can. I use this for uh, my um, Poshmark stuff. Like um, it's mostly paper, you know, like the um, just paper trash. So I don't. I wouldn't throw like any food or anything like that in here because I don't use a liner because I I don't want it to get ruined. So I only throw away like my office stuff. I also have this super cool, um, kind of like a basket bowl kind of thing. It's the, again, with the natural wood tones. It has these little wood, wooden um, slats. <clears throat> it's really cute. It could be a fruit bowl or just even on a, on a wall. Like, a, you know how those basket balls are really popular now? It could be good for that also. And then I, this piece, I've actually been seeing these a lot on like um, uh, like Instagram on like the home decor pages and is these, I forgot what this is called, but you know what it is, like one of those math things. I forgot the name. I totally forgot the name, but I think this is a vintage piece and it's a really dark um, a brown wood with a lighter wood detail right there. Just like that a pretty pretty good size and I thought this would look super cool on a shelf displayed on a shelf um, or you could even use it for actual math I don't know how that would work out but it's just so cute and they're kind of pricey at um, like TJ Maxx or any of those stores there I've seen not a ton because like I said they're kind of popular so they sell out but at least $15 and I did not pay close to $15 for that another natural wood tone or like wicker thing that I found you're gonna see a lot of wicker is this um, really large placemat um, it's plain right here and then it has these like um, asticky kind of style design on the other side it's purple but if you just want to use this side it's super cute or if you want to hang this on the wall like this it would be nice too but I thought with a bowl or like a big vase on top it would be it would be very very nice <clears throat> 
Next wicker thing I found is this little, um, like kind of like cabinet shelf. It's like this. It has open storage right there, and then it opens up like this. And I thought this would be really nice in a bathroom or <clears throat> even in a kitchen. It's just really nice, and it's not. Um, it's a it's a good size. It's small, but it's um big enough to store things or just for display it would be really nice too next up I found these three um, trivets I found these three trivets these are both the same they're like a natural wicker and then the red and then this navy blue one but I thought these hanging on a wall would look so cute and actually, I I am going to do that. I'm going to put them on my wall like this. And it would be super cute. I just could not part with those. They're so cute. Then I found this Pottery Barn. I think this is either like a candle holder. But I thought a, either a candle or like a plant would be cute on this. And this is wooden. It's real wood. I think it's real wood. It sounds pretty solid. So yeah that and then I found this little bowl it's like a dusty pink bowl with the little feet and I actually got this for my daughter's room so she can put her earrings or you know um, little toys that she has and it will look really cute on a shelf here Ooh, oh almost dropped this Okay, next up I found this super cute candle holder. It's a Himalayan sea salt um, candle holder. It's so heavy. So cute. You can never go wrong with this. I actually have a lamp like this, and it just looks so, so good uh, displayed on a shelf. Next up I have these two candlestick holders. They're just plain wood. They're a little dirty. I need to clean them up, but I thought these looked so nice and around the holidays too I could put some candles with like some flowers It'd be so cute or I could sell them I don't know and then recently I've been really getting into plants maybe it's the age that I'm in now so I've been really looking for um, planters so I found this little I don't know what this is like little sticks like wooden sticks one it, it broke because the thin the sticks are so thin broke on me but it's okay i'll just stick a plant in there and put it outside then i have this wicker one looks like that and this was only 99 cents it's really cute how many times can i say really cute but honestly when you have a ton of cute stuff what other word can you use another cute one is this like cement um one it's gray it has this really cool like geometric texture like that it's so cute and this was two dollars still has this price tag underneath all right so keeping the same theme with the plants i found this super cool hanging planter it's white it has a big tassel it's macrame and then has these knots right here and then it hangs from here it's pretty long super cool I think I found this actually at a flea market for like a dollar or something like that crazy I think I found all of these actually the same day I've had these for a while um, but I just haven't used them because I this these this one and another one that I have I actually want to put these outside because they shed a lot and it's about see that can you see that so it looks like that it has um, some wooden beads right there macrame again and then I have a smaller version looks like this this one actually has the metal hook right here to hang it, it has these wooden bees beads and more wooden beads down here Goes like that, macrame, and this one is missing like the, the tassel, but I think I'll just make one for it. Whew. Then I have this cream color one. 
like that. This is not natural cut in cotton, so it looks more yellow, but it also has the wooden beads. That big tassel. And then the last, the last planter or macrame planter hanger that I have is this really cute one. This one's more like a like um jute material and the planter goes in here and it's really stiff i think i'm gonna chop this off and just have it hang short like that really cool found this like cool wall hanging it kind of reminds me of a christmas tree um but i thought this would be really cute in my daughter's room um Maybe when she's, she's a little bit older because right now her room is unicorn and she's not really into this kind of stuff. But maybe I'll hang it in the bathroom or something. So cute. This is one of my favorite. And then more recently, I actually found these things. I found this cute little um, small basket, those col uh, collap collapsible ones. And I've been looking for one of these baskets for a while green i'm not really into i think i might paint it white this bottom part and then hang some tassels around it and use it as like a planter or something like stick a plant in here i thought it would be really cute because i can't really store anything in there the shape is kind of awkward and it's really small um so i don't think i would want to store anything inside of it except for a plant and i think it would be really really cool in there yeah, or you can use it as a bowl like this also. But like I said, I'm not really into this green color. But it's very cute. And then this. I actually found this really cool lamp. And I want to say this is from Ikea. It looks like something you would find at Ikea. I have no idea where this is from. Or maybe Amazon. I don't know. So I found this little wicker um, lamp. And it, it works. Um, and I paid one dollar for this one dollar so I thought maybe I could use it on my desk or if I get bored I could just probably hang it um, from the ceiling like this and that would be really cool too so for a dollar I was like heck yeah and then I found this um, like napkin holder I think it's a napkin holder it's like a um, rattan a material looks like this so cute and this was also a dollar so I decided to pick it up I actually just got this with this these two together they're they're super cute I mean and you can do you don't have to do napkins you don't actually have to do napkins in here you can use this as your key bowl like uh you know to contain put your sunglasses you know by your, your door your keys your wallet whatever phone well, wallet keys ah, just kidding so you can put your stuff in here whatever you want i thought it would be cool for that um then actually in my daughter's room she has this little um like bas like storage basket it's a heart shape oh closest right here she has some stuff in here um but it's just a cute little wicker or i don't even know what this is actually but it looks very boho this cute little basket like this and actually i got it this was a set of like three I have no idea where the rest are, but this is just so, so cute. And she actually uses this. She stores stuff in here. So I think that was that's so cute. And it's just so sweet for a little girl's room. Also, I have this really cool uh, box. I think that's a lion on it. I'm not sure. Either a lion or a... I think it's a lion. I don't know. But it has that cool carved detail and then more carving some on the sides and this is just so cool i keep some remotes and our coasters in here and i think this i just i just love things like this um and then i have i actually have this basket this is originally from target 
but I found this at Goodwill. It's pretty big and I thought I could put, put either, I could either put um, some blankets or pillows in here or a plant. I think that's what it's intended for. But um, yeah, it's really big. It's really cute. All right, so the last thing I found, or the last thing I have to share with you today, is actually this huge, not huge, but this big vase. Is that like a green glass with um, a cork um, bottle with a cork thing in there? And this I actually found in the trash. I went out to throw up my trash in my building and this was just sitting out by the by the dumpster not in the trash but like by the dumpster so um, I picked it up and it's so cute I can't believe somebody would throw this away it's just so cool this would be really nice on top of that um, wicker trivet that I showed you let me show you but in this looks so nice like on your table like on your dining table or even your coffee table with like some candles or um, like I don't know some wooden beads hanging from here oh, that's my goal I need to find some chunky wooden beads at the thrift store I've seen them at Hobby Lobby but um, I don't know if I can not find them at Goodwill before the holidays I will go to uh, I probably will get them at Hobby Lobby when they're on sale Okay, so the next thing I have is these um, pillowcases that I found at the bins um, a while back. And they're macrame. They have macrame detail and like little tassels at the end. And these are like pretty old and like dingy looking. And I wash them. They don't stink or anything. I wash them. They're clean. But they just look, they look old. But I just love this macrame detail. So I thought I could probably cut that out and like do some DIY with it. You know, like either put it on a different pillow or maybe like do um, like a wall hanging. I'm not sure. I have two of these. So here's the other one. They're exactly the same. So I thought I could probably use these in a DIY of some sort. Um, I haven't done anything with them yet. So... Um, I'll see what I can do with those and the very last thing I have is actually for my daughter's room and it's this um, like one of those LED rainbow um, lights let me see LED sign it's a rainbow and this is actually um, originally from Target um, right here this was actually it, it, I got it at Goodwill um, at our Goodwill we get a ton of stuff from Target brand new uh, with tags, inbox, all of that stuff. So I actually found this. It was um, $17.99, but it's orange was actually the color of the day. So I got it for half off. So what? that's what? $18, $9. I got this for $9, brand new, in the box. And I actually wanted this for my daughter. And I was going to buy it at Target, but it was $30. And then I just randomly found it at Target. Not Target, I'm sorry, at Goodwill. So I decided to buy it for her room and I still haven't put it up yet but I will all right so that is all I have for you today so let me know if you like watching these kind of videos like home decor hauls because I personally love love watching home decor um hauls especially like the boho like the bohemian mid-century modern ones they're my favorite because that's like I said that's my style so um, I hope, I really hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.